property on Newsome. It is a gorgeous, cozy little cottage. And not nearly many, as many as cicadas as the last one. <laughs> so you got a great plot of land, lots of places to run. They have a shed with an actual uh, garage door. So like you can pull up and park something right in there if you wanted to. They have this cute little outdoor, I think they're using it as a playhouse, but I think it was turned, converted from a dog house, so you can use that for either one. It's fenced on the front. They have a really nice gate. Fenced all the way around over here, over to the side, they turn into chain link. And I haven't seen the full back of the property just yet to see if it's fenced all the way back there, but we can definitely go take a look. in here and you walk into the main living space it smells great they definitely have just a, a newer smell to it it doesn't have that old home smell you can tell the 2011 build is still holding up you have nice crown molding the floors are new these feel like luxury vinyl floors not laminate they're nice and solid they have a really good texture feel to them so they feel like actual wood floors when they're not they're a lot more durable a lot sturdier Nice front window with nice pop up and down blinds. Curtains would stay as well, unless the sellers say otherwise, but they're, they're supposed to stay. Wood burning fireplace with mantle. And we come over here to the kitchen. Kitchen has tile floor. It's a very nice kitchen, very open. Looks like they have the little girl who plays kitchen. That's adorable. Nice tall ceilings. It feels bright, very airy in here. The cabinets are still in great condition. They have granite countertops as well. So this one definitely has that nice solid granite and then stone backsplash as well. Double sinks. Not a ton of cabinet space, but definitely workable. Looks like they're missing a handle up there. And then you come through here. Looks like they had this gated off, so they can either leave that for dog purposes or they'll take it. Here's your first half or quarter bath. Quarter bath. So just a sink. Looks like they don't have a mirror up, so we could ask them to put the mirror back up. Does look like this is starting to separate from the back, the pedestal sink. Yeah, that's not quite solidified to the wall as well as it should. And then just the quarter bath, so just the toilet and the sink with the storage overhead. And here is the pantry, a very good size pantry. All of their appliances, all their cans with the light as well. Shelving looks like that's an what is this? Under under the stairs storage, a little extra storage back in there for you. And then we have our utilities over here. They're not in their own room, they are exposed, but they're about the age of the home. I would imagine we can check the property disclosure to confirm that. But it's a standard two-car garage. Now no built-in shelves. So they may or may not take these, depending on where they're moving to. They have a lot of stuff in here, probably just from moving. Really nice blinds that are inside the glass. That's a nice feature here, so they don't get beat up by dogs. Oh, very good. So they have a nice, heavy duty tall chain link fence back here. So they do have a nice fenced in area for the dogs for you guys. Looks like that's a chicken coop back there. Upstairs. Gonna go up this.
this way. The carpet is very, very worn. You can see, if I show a quick close up right there, it's seen lots and lots of wear in here. So it feels very matted down. It's stretching and bulked up in a few places. You can kind of see it right there. It does smell vaguely of smoke upstairs. Downstairs doesn't smell like it at all. Upstairs has a slight smoky smell. We're in the master right now. Looks like they had a TV or pictures or something at one point, but they still have a bunch of nails in the wall. So we'll make sure that they take care of those. Great windows, curtains, and blinds. They have a king size bed that fits in here with plenty of space for end tables on either side. Nice fan and plenty of space. Look at all that room. It's a big master. Into your master bath where you have his and her sinks with a nice tall mirror. Then you have a nice tub. It's a bit of a shallower tub from others that I've seen. It sits fairly low, but still a decent soaking tub. It's not a jet tub, just a soaking tub. Nice window that brings in some light. Here's your walk-in shower. Shower had seen better days. <laughs> just looks like a normal pan with uh, plastic siding, no updates or anything to the shower that's been done. Here's your toilet area, so you have a little bit of privacy behind the wall if you're coming in and someone's at the sink. And then here's the master closet, which has a light and it's a walk-in. So they have shelving all the way around and then built-in shelves back here. And then we can go see the other bedrooms. So we walk out of the master, all bedrooms are upstairs, all living is down. Here's the upstairs full bath. So you have sink, mirror, toilet, and shower. It's kind of an off-white backsplash to a porcelain white tub. So the backsplash seems the original. I don't think they've done any updates to it. And then tile floor. Into the, let's see, we got laundry room over here extra storage. There looks like to be your attic access. Laundry room. Looks like they may have ripped out a table or something at some point over here. Here's your first bedroom. This is the daughter's room. They have one accent wall painted pink. She has a nice tall window and then a walk-in closet for her too. So very decent size. Across the hall to bedroom number two, technically three, counting the master. So the three bedroom. This one has another walk in closet, similar size to the other one. And the carpet's definitely picking up. That's a good chunk of carpet I can grab. So it would need to be stretched and definitely cleaned to bring some life back into it. It's pretty matted down. And you have a, a linen closet. Yeah, looks to be a linen closet in here. This one is forced air heat as well, but if they're in the ceiling, not the floor like the last house. And then your stairs to downstairs. So upstairs, master, two bedrooms, full bath, laundry room. Downstairs, you have your living room and your kitchen and dining, and then out to the back patio. Overall location, the drive here was not that bad. You took one of the back roads, but it's a straight shot pretty much all the way down until you turn onto the dirt road. And then there's a dirt road all the way to get back here. Your commute time would probably be closer to 35. Summer, 40, 45 in the icy winter, just when everyone else is taking it extra slow. But the, you are so close to 40, as soon as you hit the highway, you'll be racing on in. Smells great outside of the smoke smell upstairs, which is just slight. Downstairs smells really good. It's very clean. I don't see any dog hair. I don't think they have pets. There was no dog poop in the backyard. But yeah, very nice house.